Hello, I'm Helen and you're watching Young and Talented. Are you one of those people who loves to explore every bit of the world? Well, you're in luck because this show is made for you. We're going to have lots of creativity, fun, talents and stories to tell you all about. The violin is a very complex instrument and what's so special about it that comes in different sizes and looks like an hourglass. Today we have Reem Rasool. We'll be talking about her special talent and playing for us the violin. Hi Reem, how are you? Good. So Reem, tell us how did you start playing the violin? My mom asked me if I wanted to learn how to play the piano or violin and I chose the violin. That's really nice. Why did you choose violin out of all instruments? Because I wanted to go for something new and I have no experience with that one. Hmm. How long have you been playing it for? Around two years. So if you're nine and you're playing it for two years, you're supposed to be an expert about it. Thank you. How did life and music help you with your violin skills? Well, it made it more fun and I really enjoy my violin lessons. That's good. What do you wish to become when you're grown up? Um, an architect and maybe a violinist, but I might change my mind in the future. Interesting, but why an architect? Because my parents are architects and I just don't want to be an architect like them. That's really nice. I'll let you build me a house one day. <laughs> Thank you, Reem. And now it's time for Reem to play the violin. Are you ready? Yes. See you later with Reem playing the violin. Hello, this is Zainab Al Halwachi. I'm an artist. Today, we're gonna paint together something very beautiful. I found this for the elephant. It's an elephant book, actually. And I thought we're gonna do this together today. But before we start, let's talk about colors. Which kind of paint do you guys use in order to start your painting? How do we start? What do we need? First of all, if you want to paint at home, you need a canvas. This is called canvas. And for me, I love acrylic paint. So I use acrylic paints, whether it's this size, the big size, whatever suits you. You will need a palette. A palette, you will use it for the paint. You will put the paint, whatever you need for your painting. So for example, for this painting, the elephant child, I will need green, but it's not only one shade of a green. I have two shades of green, I have white, and I have a little bit of pink. And of course, I will need another color for the shading. If you will put color on your palette, make sure you don't exceed this amount because the color will dry and you will not use it. My advice to you is just drop. So if you open your paint, make sure it doesn't exceed this amount. This is all you need for your painting. Usually the kids ask me, Ms. Zeus, why do we use only a drop of the paint? Because you don't need more than that. The water will help you make your painting or your paint go all over the place. Let's do that together. About the brushes, by the way, you need a glass of water, just put the water nearby, put your brushes in. Never put your brushes if you use them on the table or outside. The brushes will dry and then you cannot use them. So let's do this together. Let's say you saw something at home and you want to copy. How do we do that? I put two shades of green and I put white. 
Then I have this color, it's called yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is a very helping color. You can use it for shading or to mix it with any other color. I will put a dot of maroon. I will not need more than this actually, it's for the cheeks. You can use markers if you want or you can use directly your brush. I always recommend that you go with your brushes, guys. The brush, make sure you dry it. You can use tissue for that as well. And let's start with our elephant. Let's go with the green. So we have a circle, right? Let's go with the circle. So this is our circle. circle. Then we have an ear in here and another on there. Right? We're gonna make it bigger later on, depends on the size. Then our trunk should be starting from here, going up. So this is also here. When you start your painting, you have to make sure that you started with a sketch. When you start with your sketch, then you can go on easily. And the eyes are gonna be here. Okay, let's continue with this. I started my painting with only using one color. So this is the color I used. It doesn't look like a nice painting for now, but let's see what it, what's gonna happen now. I will use the darker green. It's a teal color that I like to mix it or blend it a little bit with our green. I'm gonna use it for inside the ear to make it look deep. So how do you show the feeling of something deep or something in the back in your painting. For example, here, if you see the dark green, it makes you feel like it's deep, it's inside, right? And even if you want to uh, show something behind, let's see this. This is already done, right? So if you want to show something behind this elephant, it will be a little bit darker. So it will make you feel, oh, this is a little bit far, or it's darker. Let's keep on. So for the cheeks of the elephant, it's pink cheeks, isn't it? I only have red color. So what shall I do? I can take some of the white, mix it with the pink. Which color will I get? I'm gonna get pink. So this is your red, this is the white, and this is the color I wanted. I just mix them together and I'm gonna have some cute pink. Now, how do I finalize my painting? It's by shading. Always take some white, put it in your brush, dry it up, and let's think. If the sun is coming from that side, so we will have to highlight here. Some highlight will make a very big difference on your painting. We're almost done here. Let's just do an outline and we finalize. I will use a marker to outline the painting. That's not necessarily if you don't have a marker at home, you don't have to do this. We're done. You have to sign here and that's it. Thank you very much. That's Zainab al Halwachi. I'll see you next time.
Hello, today I'm at Future Stables and I'll be showing you Keshta Tour's horse riding experience. I'm so excited to try this out. Today at Future Stables, I'm at different kind of horses. Each one of these horses is beautiful and unique. This is Whitey, Lebras, and Murtah. And this is Mysor, the horse I had to ride. I had to wear a safety cap to ensure I was safe and I was guided through my whole ride. We passed over a beautiful pathway of plants and trees. And now we reached Nurana Beach. We took some few stops and clicked some photos. Check them out. So I finally reached the sea, where it's meant to see the sunset, but it was cloudy today. But I'm still so happy to be riding a horse for the first time. Thank you Keshta Tours for this beautiful experience.